I was worried how we were going to afford it because I am a teacher. I don't make a lot of money. Billy doesn't make a lot of money. He's semi-retired. Again, like I said, we hadn't saved a lot and we thought, how are we going to do it? She deserves to go to a good school because she's worked hard and she's really college motivated. It wasn't just like, oh, well, I'll just go to San Diego State or I'll just go to a, a um, two-year school. She didn't want to do that, even though we were advised by some of our friends, oh, well, have her go to a, um, a community college for two years and then go on. She didn't want to do that. So I was worried, how are we going to make her happy in terms of going to a good school and still being able to afford it? Because I started looking at the prices of everything and I knew we couldn't afford it. Um, so then that's when we started getting a lot of flyers about different things. And I just happened to look at that one that day and thought, well, you know, what the heck, it's close. I'll just go and find out. So that's kind of what sparked me to do it just because I was already, I was starting to get stressed out about how we were gonna put her through school. As a student, I have things that like I prefer. Um, I prefer smaller classes. I love having a relationship with my, my, my teachers. I was just kind of like that in high school. So I didn't want to be like one out of 500 in like a lecture hall and the professor like raising my hand in the back like, because I'm definitely like a talkative person. I love to like talk to my teachers while we're in class. I like to ask questions. Like I'm that annoying kid in the front row that's like, um, yeah, I need you to answer my question real quick. That's just kind of how I learn. So I knew that going to a big school wasn't going to cater to my learning style. So I had, I had certain like specific requirements just because of like what I knew, like I liked and um, what worked best for me. I was here, she, Courtney was at work, you were over at Marco's. Yeah, I was at friends. And you know, it was an evening, it was like around this time, maybe seven. And I was in my room, in my uh, office, probably doing schoolwork and the phone rang and they said it was from Redlands and she said, okay, I'm here to give, give you an offer. Um, we do want Courtney, we can offer her this. And I was looking, I was like, are you sure? Because basically she was saying everything will be paid for except for her room and board. And so I, I was pretty much flabbergasted. I couldn't believe it. I thought maybe it was a mistake. And I said, so are you, are you for sure? And I kind of made her say it again. And then after that, I was like, oh, oh, I was freaking out. I ran over to our neighbors where Billy was. And then I got in the car and drove to her call. Oh, Shelby, my younger daughter was there. So we drove to her, her work and told her and, you know, so it was pretty exciting. So I was sitting at work and it was like within the last like 20 minutes. But when we, I was on the closing shift, I was a life, um, lifeguard. So it was like kind of, I don't even know, it was like cold. And I was like sitting in the office and my mom comes up to the locked door with this like no, I, I think it was a piece of paper, like a piece of cardboard, I don't know, but it just says like full ride, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. And she just, like my sister and her just run up to the door and they just hit the door just so they can put the paper there. And I was just like, like I didn't even, I just heard this like big like, like bang against the door and I didn't even realize like what they were showing me. I was just like, what are they doing here? Like what's going on? And then I saw it and it was like a little jump up and down moment. And, I like came home and my mom was like, oh, take a picture. So I was like next to my dad, like so excited. So um, my mom, she was just like beaming. She was just like full ride. Like she couldn't even tell me in detail. She was just like, so good, like, and so happy. <laughs> just so happy. She couldn't even give me that many details while I was at work. And then I just came home and it was nice. It was fun. It was a good night. <laughs> I think she's probably getting a better education at Redlands. And um, I don't know. What do you think? She, I would definitely say she's getting a better education. She must be if there's 500 kids to one uh, professor and there it's 15 to one. And when we, when we went to the college, they, they said we have tutors here. If she's failing, we'll know before you and we're there to help her. That's what small colleges do. So, she, so she's got all the help she wants to succeed there. And if she doesn't, well, then it's, then it's down to her. Yeah. And she'll have to cough up her money for a, to go local. 